Hi everybody, it's Axe Reacts, and welcome back to another episode of Reaction of Demon Slayer. Today we are continuing on with episode 11 and going on from there. Last time we had Tanjiro battle these two demons who work directly for this Muzan character. He's the one that killed his family. He's the one that can turn humans into demons. He's one of the only ones that can do that. Until we met Lady Tamiyo, but I'll get to that in a second. During the battle, Tanjiro learned more about this Muzan character and the hierarchy. There are apparently 12 demons that work directly under him, and these two demons claimed that they were part of the 12, but we learned at the end that they actually weren't. They were probably like wishing that they could be part of the 12 that worked under Muzan, but they apparently were just more used and not actually considered part of the main team. So you kind of felt bad for them in the end. They kind of realized that they were being used. And in the end, Tanjiro and the rest of them did come out on top in this fight. We met Lady Tamiyo throughout all of this, as I said before, and she was able to turn one human into a demon, and she did it very reluctantly. She did it out of care. This kid was terminally ill and about to die, and he agreed to become a demon. So she did it with the best intentions, and we learned that she's a doctor as well. She has this whole side quest for Tanjiro to kind of collect blood samples, I'm assuming from these 12 demons as we meet them throughout the show, and anyone close to Muzan, and that could possibly help his sister Nezuko, like she believes that there is a cure possible to turn a demon back into a human, and that will change the game completely if they figure that out. Will it happen? I have no idea, guys, but I'm so excited to find out. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, it means a lot that you're here. If you haven't already, please like this video. Please subscribe to the channel for more reactions coming soon. We do have a Patreon as well where you can help support this channel, so feel free to check it out. The link is in the description below, and thank you to those of you that have already done so. I'm Patreon. You can view this episode reaction for just a dollar a month. It's unedited and unfiltered. It means a lot if you consider, so please do if you can. I always love new patrons. And here we go with episode 11 of Demon Slayer. Let's go. Yep, so he is now leaving the town. This crow is giving him a new mission to start off with. And we ended the last episode the meeting so this blondish hair character. Which I please, yep, there he is right there. We'll see right here. He's proposing to this lady, if you can believe that. Yep, every demon slayer was given a crow, and this guy got the short of the stick and got some kind of like sparrow or different type of bird instead. I don't know why, I'm assuming just for comedic effect. Um, this character seems really, like, silly, you know, but, like, I feel like he's going to have a lot of heart, you know, as we get to know him more. I feel like he's coming, you know, he's going to bring a whole new story, you know, coming from somewhere, some some situation. Uh, and from these credits, you know, we really get the impression that he will be joining Tanjiro and Nezuko in their adventures. Like, he's going to become, like, a main, main character. Um... I get the impression, I said this a little bit last time in the last video, that I feel like he's more of like an Armin character if you watch Attack on Titan, or maybe like a Krellin type character if you watch Dragon Ball Z. Um, you know, where, like, he'll be having a lot of jokes and maybe, like, being the brunt of a joke maybe here and there, um, or all the time. I have no idea, guys, but I kind of relate him to being like the best friend of the side character like feel like they're gonna get really close maybe that'll happen maybe they won't i don't know but he was one of the four um survivors you know from this whole final competition for to join the demon slayer core and we see in the credits that he has like some kind of lightning powers very similar to how uh tanjiro has these water powers um through his sword so i feel like it's gonna be interesting to see and, and you know i feel like he's going to really surprise some people with how tough he actually is like to survive the night and to be one of the four survivors says a lot to his character so going into this you see him bumbling and being silly and crazy but i feel like he's going to really surprise you in a battle so here we go guys episode 11 so that's it then okay i'll try to help <laughs> bert's so happy Please, finally I'm someone listened and understood him I beg you. <laughs> Why are you making such a scene in the middle of the road? You're all set to head home again. Do you need help with anything else? No, thank you very much. They're off to a great start. <laughs> Say something, would ya? Look, during my next job, I'll likely die. The reason is, I'm just a weakling. Do you understand? I'm Zenitsu Agatsuma. Please, you've gotta do what you can to save me. 
Aren't you being a bit dramatic? Why did you even become a swordsman? My goodness. <laughs> Maybe he survived the final selection just by pure luck. I don't know. Very torn now on how to feel about him. You better? A bit. But now I'm feeling really hungry. Here, take one of these. Really? Thank you so much. Aren't you going to eat anything? Mm, that was all I had. So showing him right there that he is a pure, kind heart. Hey, uh, you take this half. And showing Tanjiro as well that this guy also is kind at his core. Start running! Start running! Run, Tanjiro! Run, Zenitsu! I can smell blood, but... It's strange. Wait, you can smell something here? Yeah, but this is a whole new smell. A smell? I can't say I'm getting that. What about that sound? You're able to hear that, right? Sound? <laughs> oh, they're going to be perfect together if he can smell and the other one can hear. <laughs> Are kids here? They'll be able to they figure scared. things out really well together. Hey there. Is there a reason you're out here by yourselves? This is... This house is... It... It belongs to a... Monster! Oh, jeez. We were walking down the road at night and this thing appeared in front of us. It'll be alright. We're gonna go defeat the bad guy and save your brother. Yeah, that's not ominous at all. Oh my god. Jeez. Nothing those little kids should ever have to see. Just cover your eyes. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, hey, is this your brother? No. No, that isn't him. Oh. <laughs> he wow, was wearing okay. An orange colored kimono. I see. So it's captured. Maybe there's hope then for this person. brother. I was thinking <laughs> it's pretty rough. I promise to bury for those you kids. Once I return. But... Until then, please forgive me. So determined. He wants to make a difference. I feel like every job he goes on, he thinks about his family that he lost, you know, and if he was stronger, if he was there, he could have done something, you know, and like he's going to take that with him into every battle now moving forward. You two shouldn't be here. We're, we're sorry. There were sounds coming from inside that box. Oh, my God. Still, I really wish she you just told left him. It behind. That thing is more precious to me than my own life. Too late now. <laughs> Stick with us, kids. Oh, jeez. I'm going to protect you no matter what. And Zenitsu is going to protect your brother. Don't worry. What's or he might cry on him. It's terrible. Oh, my God. know that face from the credits oh my gosh wow I, I don't know I don't know what to say yet oh man the boarhead guy is now in the show though if it hadn't been for them 
If it hadn't been for them and their meddling. Teruko, you gotta try not to scream. Curses. Curses. Why do all these unwelcome guests keep barging into someone else's home? Let's do this. Does he even know he's there yet? <laughs> Oh my gosh. The room's been flipped. So this is his blood demon heart. There's an odd scent, but it's not a demon. Better watch out. Just ready or not. Here we go. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, man. We are just getting started with this next battle. I'm surprised that he's in this mansion. Like, I knew that we were getting him in the show eventually, but uh, I'm surprised that it was in the exact same episode as the other uh, character, Zenitsu. i blanking on the name still. I will learn it eventually, guys. I apologize. Um, but yeah, the blonde haired guy <laughs> is what I'm going to call him for now. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I have lots of questions, like, is this guy... They like, already kind of established he's not a demon, but is he good or bad? Like, I'm assuming he's good because he's going to be joining Tanjiro, but, like, he definitely has some kind of backstory. Why does he wear this boar's head thing? Uh, what's the purpose of it? I'm assuming he can take it off and he'll look just normal and just fine, but maybe he won't. Maybe he's hiding something, some kind of scar from a previous battle or encounter with something. I don't know. I'm very... Uh, curious to know, and we're gonna go right to the next one and find out, guys. So here we go with it. Let's go. The boar bears its fangs. Zenitsu sleeps. <laughs> Let's go. Who the hell are you, kid? Ooh. Why is he coming after me? Isn't he a demon slayer? Nope. <laughs> I don't expect him to be one. They're but I do feel like he has a vendetta to kill all demons the or something like that. Like he seems really laser focused on, on this is foolish. There's attacking a demon demons, right but like why is he in this house? Like has he been searching for a long time for these guys? Like I don't know. Oh, he's gonna learn which drum does what? Got two? Is that why? I can smell blood. There's no demons. I feel like because these kids are Come sticking on, around that like out. we will find the brother alive. Keep your eyes forward, all right? I will be Don't pretty surprised you. if they have him killed. Oh, there he is. Uh oh. Oh my god, here we go. Man up, let's go. Like, I'm really wondering, like, how did he survive the trial thing? Like, I feel like it was pure luck, or he has some really hidden, like, aggressive power or something. I don't know. Like, I, I feel like he just pure luck survived that night. Oh, he's done. He's a sweet. Oh, he does. He has some kind of like hidden secret power and maybe he's not conscious for it. He's asleep right now and he's just going to like rage out. This has got to be how he has survived. 
He's going to wake up and, like, not know he did any of this. Oh, my God. He's, like, a totally different person. Oh, man. Wow, that's awesome. Let's go. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna like. When did that happen? Shoichi, did, did you just? <laughs> you saved me. Thank you so much. Like I was getting worried, guys. Like the constant whining and screaming. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like I don't know how much more I can handle. But like he seemed pretty cool when he transformed into his sleep mode. You know, like so. There's a lot more to him like than we know yet. Like Very excited to learn that. This guy, too. Like, there's a story with him, I'm sure. He seems like on a one-track mind to kill these demons. He's super aggressive with it. I'm wondering how long has he been in this mansion. I feel like he's been, like, in a maze for a long time. Probably going insane because of it. And we have a third demon, of course. Wow. Oh. We gotta get his blood. <laughs> That's my first thought. I'm like, oh, geez. So he was like a former member of the Twelve? Shogai. Why have you stopped eating? Oh, jeez. do it well you feel better yes tell me exactly what happened if you can about Marechi. Ah! The term Marechi refers to the owner of a rare type of blood. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. What's that like? Where's he been? Not in your respect. The blood of all living species can be broken into types. You see, the more scarce the blood, or the more uncommon it is, I should say, the more desirable it is to demons. For you see, in terms of nutritional value for a demon, a human Marechi is akin to eating as many as a hundred normal humans. Okay. A Marechi is like a bountiful feast for them, a delicacy for the ages. All right, so humans have special blood. We need the demon blood. Lots of blood. <laughs> Lots of blood stuff to figure out here. My question now is, like, if you have this rare blood, does it, like give you any unique qualities are you more in tune with anything are you able to become a demon slayer perhaps does Tanjiro have this blood like that's all questions I have like how do you figure out who has it or is it only from demons smelling it and telling figuring it out or something I don't know oh yep yeah, he's learned He's ready. Right leg, forward spin, left leg, backward spin. The drum on his belly launches that claw attack. Whenever I tense up my broken 
fucking bone tape stopping me from mustering any strength. Do it. Here we go. It's a good shot right there. Might be my cover. <laughs> oh, come on, man. I am... These interruptions <laughs> are not fun. We're going to go right into the next one in just a second, guys, and see uh, how he does in this battle. I feel like he figured it out. I feel like he's going to use the water breathing and make it happen, and we're going to take this drum demon out. Let's go and see if I'm right. Let's do it. Here we go. All right, episode 13, something more precious than life. Let's go. Tanjiro, where are you right now? Oh, <laughs> it must have been close, or does the whole house move automatically, or is it only like in a certain proximity to that drum? Like, I don't know. It's another question I have. I like that we're getting like a past from this demon. So just constantly put down, ridiculed. Wandering about, feeling like he isn't good enough for anything. Like, they're really trying to make you feel bad for this demon. Like... Oh, jeez. <laughs> now, I'm qu I'm wondering now, like, did he just transform right there? Or was he already a demon masking it? Like, how did that work? What happened right there? Like, that's a deeper story I think we're going to get at some point. Oh my god, here we go. No other Demon Slayer compliments the demon <laughs> as they're being killed. Like, uh oh. I took a deep breath by mistake. Did you really think my blood demon art was incredible? Oh, he just wanted recognition. I truly did. He's gonna die happy now. However, I can't forgive you for killing. Are you gonna see a tear? That's right. Gotta get a blood sample. There we go. <laughs> wow. The cool way to get a blood sample. <laughs>
Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> Talking birds and a cat delivery service? Like, oh, wow. I was told that under Yushiro's spell it would be invisible until it meowed, and then vanish again when it meowed a second time. <sighs> wow. I, I don't know what to say. Like, I feel like he's different than every other demon slayer we are ever going to see on this show, and he's going to get a lot of flack for it because he's so different. But again, I feel like I've said this before. Over time, they're going to see the way Tanjiro does things and interacts with demons, and they're going to start to follow suit. These other demon slayers I feel like we're eventually going to meet are going to see his way of thinking and doing things and be on board. It's just not going to be an easy road to get there. You did a great job hanging in there. I smell blood. Uh oh. What's the matter? Nothing. Let's hurry along. Not what I was expecting to see here. Okay, okay. The fifth survivor that nobody knew about, okay. Except him. <laughs> you know, Tanjiro probably has this whole impression of him, but to come out and see him defending this box and getting all kicked and bloodied and, like, it's going to solidify their friendship, I think. He did know. Oh, that hearing man. There you go. Yeah, just talk to him. Learn the reason. My goodness. Move it. All right, we're all caught up. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, we're going to rage out. Here we go. Oh, he's willing, though. Willing to kill a human. Tells me that his drive to kill demons is so strong. Oh, come on, man. I don't want to end it like this. <laughs> oh, so we got to wait and see till next time, guys, what's going to happen. Uh, I, I feel like if they just take a breather and, and talk it out, they're all going to come to an understanding. The, you know, based off of the credits, again, I keep going back to the opening credits. We see them all wandering around together. Like, we see them all in this group, in this team, you know. like So I feel like the, the, the fences are mended at some point, you know. We're going to learn this Boarhead Man story next time, I'm assuming. Uh, we're going to learn why he has such a vendetta against demons. What happened to him? I'm assuming his whole family was killed, too, or something like that. But, like, 
you know, there's a story there that we have yet to learn. And once we learn where he's coming from, and we learn where Tanjiro's coming from, and everyone has, like, everyone's story kind of laid out before them, everyone can start to understand and accept each other. And I feel like that's going to have to happen. I don't think they're going to, like, fight to the death or anything because of the opening credits. It kind of spoils it a little bit that they're going to become friends or, you know, maybe rivals that stick together and help each other. Um... And right there in the ending credits, too, like, we see the sister wake up, and we see both of them have, like, little heart things that pop in their head. So maybe she'll come out of the box, and they'll stop fighting, and that will be, like, they fall in love with the sister, maybe. I don't know. That could be a whole other thing. Let's see a little preview. Yes, you do. Oh, All right, guys. Well, we have a lot to look forward to next time. I'm very excited to see more about this boarhead man and learn his story. I feel like it has to happen in the next video. Hopefully the next episode, too. I don't want to wait another episode going to the next video trying to learn more about this guy. So hopefully we'll be able to take a pause and learn everybody's story and then kind of form this unified front, you know, moving on from there. So uh, we'll have that to look forward to, guys. In the meantime, feel free to check out other content on the channel as well. We have reactions for many shows and many more on the way so feel free to check them out as you can if you haven't already please drop a comment down below let me know what you thought of these episodes and this reaction i always love to chat with you guys about it and we'll be back next time for more demon slayer thanks again for watching have a great one and we will see you next time